Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about the skills that you need to become a successful developer. So let's go ahead and get started. So what really are the basic core skills that you need? The first one, perhaps it's not a skill that's maybe more of a virtue, but is patience. Software development can be very tedious and being a patient person and developing the patience around working with uh, long and difficult things is a necessity in software development. The next thing is good communication skills. Software development projects are very complex undertakings and require teamwork. And the teamwork will require communication with your managers, uh, other developers, and most importantly, your customers that, that are determining the requirements for the software. The next thing is the problem solving skills. Software development employs putting logic to code and, and making that transformation and putting requirements to code. So problem solving is a key aspect. The next one is to anticipate customer needs. There is no software development without customers and customers uh, require certain features in their software and you need to, to rely on customers to translate their business needs for what the software needs to do. So this is a, a critical aspect of software development. Persistence is by necessity of working with something that's complex and will require a lot of time. These projects often take months or years to complete, so being persistent on technical issues that need to be resolved, getting features out the door, and, and working on large and complex projects, uh, persistence is a must. The next one is, is the ability to adapt to change. Software tools and technology change at a rapid pace, so being able to anticipate those changes and adapt to those changes is a critical skill for programmers to develop over time. And the last one on the list is good coding skills. And most people think that this would be first on the list that you need to be a great coder to be a great programmer. Well, it's part of being a great programmer, but without the communication skills and some of the other skills, you might not get a chance to really showcase your, your great coding skills if you're writing code that is not useful to other people, or if it can't be part of a larger development effort, those coding skills will go to waste. So I'll drill down a little bit more in some of these. Uh, communication is the first one. Programming really is a team sport, and working within the team is a critical factor to success in your career. One of the things that hiring managers look for right away when they interview a potential programmer is to look for the kind of communication skills that they have and how well that they can interact with the team. This is critical as most software development projects of any size will have multiple programmers on, on the team and interacting with them is a critical work skill. Work is often done off of formal specifications. So in a large project, specifications will be written and signed off by customers and have very exacting and demanding specifications for what the software needs to do. So as a communication skill, being able to interpret those requirements is a critical skill, as well as being able to ask questions, intelligent questions, to customers to clarify exactly what they want the software to do. Development efforts are expensive and time-consuming, and progress reports to customers and management are critical. So these things are not just routine uh, formalities that uh, are an administrative thing but really outline the progress of how software development is going. These development efforts are often very expensive and so these types of reports um, are very important uh, to the customer and the management which drives uh, the software development effort. Many systems are mission critical to a company's operating and, and operations and communicating issues and coordinating fixes can be difficult, especially during stressful times when something is broken and it's, and it's impacting the company operations. They quickly get escalated uh, to very high levels within the company and often you're exposed to uh, very stressful situations. So being a, a good communicator is critical of that. Problem solving is the next one. So IT projects I've mentioned are often large and complex. So, so uh, Fixing things becomes a, a, almost a daily task within a development effort. Soon after you put out new releases, there's often a time where uh, you'll need to make bug fixes from whatever things were introduced during the last release. 
the next bullet says things break and they do and no matter how careful a team is with testing software things will break in software uh, uh, operations and things will need to be fixed in a timely manner companies need people who can troubleshoot problems on the fly so it's not uh, just kind of a run-of-the-mill things as usual kind of day for most software developers you don't well, most of the time get the luxury of just writing new code you have to fix code that's out in production so um, problems are just not limited to bug fixes so uh, many many times unanticipated things happen and programmers are, are expected to jump in and help wherever they can and unfortunately many times these problems come during difficult times they come over holidays and weekends and particularly now that security threats have gotten much worse on, on software projects and in environments uh, many times you might get called in the middle of the night uh, depending on where you work or what kind of projects you have or on the weekends to come fix things. The other issue that you can come about is that many companies schedule maintenance periods to be during off time so it doesn't impact their operations. So weekend and, and nighttime work uh, can be a part of software development. The next thing uh, is to anticipate customer needs. All software development projects have customers. Now, like it or not, you have to live with customers, even though they might be internal. Those are the people who determine the requirements of what your software needs to do. So these are the people generally that pay for development efforts. So uh, it's often critical that their demands are met. Uh, otherwise, uh, sometimes if it goes poorly, a project might be canceled. So understanding customer requirements is critical to success. Uh, understanding what they need and translating that into software um, is really an art that you have to develop over time. Uh, and also customer needs change over time. A lot of times what was originally anticipated has to change and it may be due to changing market conditions, changing legislation, um, different technology. So things will change and it's best to try to embrace customer changes uh, in the most reasonable fashion. Customer service is important to your career so how you treat your customers uh, has a big impact on uh, your promotability within the organization. So keep that in mind that customer service is really a, a huge part of software development. Persistence is the next one. Fixing problems in a complex software system can be long and frustrating. Um, difficult problems are assigned to the most senior developers. So when things break that are critical, the most senior people are assigned to fix them. Uh, many times multiple approaches have to be taken because uh, uh, the first approach may not work, so uh, persistence and staying with a, prob uh, a problem is, is a skill that you really need to master. Developers who can consistently fix complex problems are rewarded. Um, those that show the ability to really fix things on the fly are uh, often promoted to more senior positions. Next thing is adapting to change. A change in the IT and software development business is constant, so the pace of change is, is ever increasingly uh, accelerating. New software and techniques come out almost daily, so, so keeping up with those things uh, is a definite skill that you will need to master. Customer needs change frequently, so, so your software will need to change frequently with it. Software must respond to market changes or else. Uh, or else your company may get left behind or your product will get passed up by somebody else. And, and the last bullet on here, your skills must reflect market demands and these change over time. So as the most popular languages and technologies change, you'll need to adapt those to, to be able to be marketable for your next uh, uh, position. The last one is last but not least good coding skills. It's an uh, absolute must that you are have the ability to put requirements into working code. Mastering the, the use of the debugger within the development environment that you're using is also a critical skill. The ability to produce code that's understandable by others. It's, it doesn't matter if, if you think it's the greatest thing ever. If you can't explain it to the other people on your team, it will have limited value to a project. So uh, really need to spend some time understanding how to construct things that are repeatable and explainable to others. You need to be able to formulate complex logic and workflows. So trans, again, translating customer needs into working code. The last bullet on here is programs must be repeatable and reliable. So quality and repeatability are huge metrics in software since most of the time 
these uh, systems now are running 24 by 7. So in summary, software development requires a, a number of soft skills and being a good coder, just being a good coder is not enough. Good communication skills will help your marketability and, and really help you uh, move up the ladder from a more junior position to a more senior position. Ongoing training and education are necessary in this field. You should enjoy the process of learning new technologies and, and be able to employ that over time and will greatly help uh, in your success in your career. And the last bullet is to be prepared to take on new challenges. This is a, a field that is, is constantly changing, so the ability to take on new challenges and take them on with a, uh, um, a good attitude is a huge advantage in this. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and this pretty much wraps it up for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.